It's a landmark in Northport, and people from all over come to swim in the waters every year. Well, now Warm Mineral Springs could become a county park. The issue was on today's commission agenda, and SNN Local News 6 reporter Charles Brown has more on this. People have been flocking to Warm Mineral Springs for about as long as anyone can remember. And for Robert Bond, it's been a life-changing experience. He was hit by a car, and for a while, it appeared as though his leg would have to be amputated. He and his wife moved to the area last October from the East Coast, and he says for him, the springs have been a life-changing experience. The water has lowered my blood pressure, has taken all the pain out of my leg, uh, increased my mobility, and certainly increased the beneficial health uh, for me. War Mineral Springs is located within the Northport city limits. It's currently owned and operated by a private company. Now Northport and Sarasota County Commissioners are discussing acquiring the site. The county parks director says that if the city and county were to assume administrative control of the park, it would continue to operate pretty much the way it does now. If we were to engage uh, the relationship with Northport that we anticipate, there would be public park aspect to it. There would also be economic development aspect to it. Uh, and then there would also be, and people feel very strongly about being able to maintain the operation of the spa uh, much as it currently is. The Springs draws people from all walks of life, including Robert Bond, who says he's gotten a new lease on life. It's not just a pill that you can take that's going to make a problem go away. Uh, it's a way of life. But yes, it is a miracle. It's, uh, it's been a miracle for me. The county commissioner's discussion of turning War Mineral Springs into a county park is still in its preliminary stages. We have been working with a third party to see if there's some way that uh, we can partner up with the city of Northport and Sarasota County and see what we can do to uh, continue to preserve the spring for future generations. Charles Brown, SNN, Local News 6.